The Bulldog Pantry is a warm and friendly place where we provide um, supplemental food to those who need it. The Bulldog Pantry is a place where it distributes food to the Fresno community people. Bulldog Pantry is food for the homes. The Bulldog Pantry is, is just a lifesaver to visit on Saturday for a lot, a lot of families that live right, right around in this neighborhood. Bulldog Pantry is simply marvelous. The Bulldog Pantry is a community center. The Bulldog Pantry is a great way for students to get involved in the community. The Bulldog Pantry is students giving back to the community. The Bulldog Pantry is a Fresno State student-run emergency food pantry. Uh, we're located off of Sean Jackson, right across the street from campus. And it's basically for a place for families to go to get groceries each week if they cannot afford to buy groceries. It's a great thing because uh, without this, I wouldn't have no food for the rest of the month. So as far as uh, helping out, it helps out a lot. At the Bulldog Pantry, we have a three-step process that we follow in order to make sure that our families have food every week. First step is for us to actually place an order with the Community Food Bank, which is where we purchase our food. Uh, we place that order usually on Saturday afternoons when we're here at the pantry. And then Wednesday mornings, we go and we pick up the food from the Community Food Bank. We usually have a few people that go over there with a pickup truck. Uh, we give them, we you know pick up the order that we placed. Uh, usually there's a few items that are different. It depends on how much food they have to give us. Uh, we'll make our payments and we bring it back here to the pantry. A few days later on Friday, our second step is to uh, go ahead and pack the food. And we usually get about five to 12 volunteers that come in on Friday afternoons. And we try to pack anywhere from 50 to 75 bags of food uh, with generally about five to 10 items in each bag. The third step of our process is to actually distribute the food to our clients and our families. Uh, they come in on Saturday mornings from 9 to 11, and they come in, check in with us, we'll sign them off on the list. Uh, they get to pick up a certain amount of bags depending on how many people are in their family. If they have five people or more in their family, they get a bag and a half. If there's just less than five, then they get one bag, and then they get uh, produce of their choice, we usually try to have some fresh produce and then bread of their choice as well. On average, when we started out from the very beginning in November when we opened our doors, we were averaging about 20 families a week. Uh, it continued to grow and grow and just last week we had actually almost 100 families that came in uh, last week to pick up food. But unfortunately at times we don't have enough food to give everybody as well. So sometimes we even run out of food, but we try to get to as many families as we can. I think because our atmosphere is so friendly with providing, you know, fresh baked goods and Saturday mornings and that kind of stuff that it's really drawing people in and people are l liking to come and we're not making them feel down about their selves because they maybe can't afford something. We're making them feel like they're our friends because they are. You get to meet like people, so you get to see like different people that come by and stuff like on I don't, come, I don't get to come on Saturdays, but on Fridays where I see more students come by, you know, I really like that students are giving back to the community, you know, that's what they're here for, to help them. I would say that it's, it's fun, um, you help people out so you get that warm and fuzzy feeling inside. And uh, it's, it's just fun, it's, it's a good time, and you're helping people and there's, you can't get much better than that. When you leave at the end of the day, especially on Saturdays, when you hand out the food to the actual needy people, it's a very fulfilling experience. Anyone who comes into the pantry, uh, no matter what they look like, what they bring with them, how many people in their family, what their ethnicity is, anyone who comes into the pantry, we give them food. The community can really get involved by helping us out with donations. Uh, whether it be monetary donations or food donations, we really, you know, we run off of donations. We don't have any sort of income coming in. You know, we're giving away food. We're not trying to bring in money for it. As far as students getting involved, we really need our students to help us to continue to run. We need our students to come in and help us to pick up the food, to package the food, and then also to distribute the food. This is an incredible opportunity for students to get some first-hand experience at, at what does it mean to, to, to respond to the need for uh, hunger in our community. And what do you do? How does that work? Um, the fact that students have organized this and keep it going 
suggests to me that they're learning lots of things about how do we respond to the needs of hunger in our community. There's a lot of us that at the end of the month we have nothing to uh, give to our grandkids. In my case, it's grandkids. And if it wasn't for the pantry, you know, then I don't know where we could uh, get food for our house to provide. The pantry, well, we've been with, with Don for so many years already. This is the first year he did a pantry, and we think it's a good for the community. And for the neighborhood. And for the neighborhood. Because it's neighborhood day. I think that even though we live by Fresno State and people think that they very well off, people, some are everywhere. People are needing help and they need, everybody needs a little help once in a while. Yeah. They help me make real nutritious foods. I'm so appreciative to them because, to the pantry because they give really nutritious things. God bless them with a lot of, a lot of, a lot of junk and really nutritious food. I think it helps out quite a bit because a lot of people around here, they are, don't have that much money for food and all that, and, and since it's every week, people could come in and get help out and stuff. We are one of the only pantries that is open every single Saturday and allows our clients to come in every single Saturday. Over the summer, since there is a lack of students on campus, we will only be open uh, the months of June, July, and August. We will only be open the third Saturday of every month. Uh, but during the academic school year, we are open every Saturday and clients can come in every single Saturday to obtain food. Thank you and God bless you and just appreciate it. Bye.